Philomena? Excuse me. I just wanted to say thank you for putting Marissa in the show. Oh. Looking for a pat on the back, are we? No, that's not what I meant. Betty, you had a success tonight. But if you found that designer, you should have pitched her yourself instead of hiding behind Mark. Well, it's just that historically you haven't really been a fan of my taste. No, you were afraid. You think I'm scary? Try working under Faye Summers. For 20 years, she belittled every fashion choice I ever made, every idea I ever had, but I never doubted myself. Taste is, is having the courage of your own convictions. I get it. Taste is subjective. It's what I say it is. No, it's what I say it is. And, uh, Betty, I will deny this if anyone ever asks, but you don't always get it wrong. Your shoes, for example. I don't hate them. But next time, don't pair them with that cheap hooker bag. Something? Thank you, Mark. You can go now. my keys, breaking into my apartment, taking the book. <laughs> Good for you. You're growing. Look, I was just there for the book. I didn't mean to hear anybody having sex. Look, Dwayne and I are dear old friends that had nothing to do with Bradford. Whom you love, right? Because you're getting married in a month. Whom I love madly. Do we understand each other? Well, I mean, I'm sure you understand that my loyalties are with Daniel, so... Thank you very much for inviting me. It was very wonderful to see the roof. Thank you. Pity about your father. What about my father? Oh. I know that he's stuck in Mexico. Shame. My father is a United States Senator. He helps people get their visas all the time. So what are you saying? <sighs> Come on, girl. I am black. You're Mexican. Let's not talk around it like a couple of dull white people. Keep your mouth shut. And your old man comes home. So, lie to Daniel? Not lie. Just don't say anything. There's a difference. You think about it, Betty, and get back to me by the end of the day. No pressure. After all, you're the one who's holding all the cards. 